Greetings and hallucinations, ladies and lads. I am Chancellor of the Harmonious Frequencies of the Mighty Empire of Onion. And this is Crusader Kings 2. Looks like poor Gil is under siege from somebody. The army of Scotland? That's right, he declared war on Scotland, I'm pretty sure. King Macbeth, Scotland. King Macbeth of the whole Scotland. And he thinks he could take him on. Just two provinces. What a fool. What a total fool. That's okay, though. I'm pretty sure that we are plotting to kill him. Porgil, not Macbeth. Um... We might could get her on our side for a little bit of coin. Same here. It's only... Alright, we got her invited. So for 30 bucks, we got an extra like 15 plot power going. It should get us up to about 100%, uh, and then we should be able to to carry that out at one point or another. Um, I also realized that my aspiration, my ambition here is to see the realm prosper, which is peace for five years. But unfortunately, um, I want to try to conquer most of Ireland before my son takes over, right? We already looted these guys. Uh, so I think I am going to declare war on him. Jour claim. Uh, the conquest, though, gives me the moral authority. So we're going to do it on that one. Okay. Uh, then... For military, I don't really want to raise everybody, but it's fine. Oh. My half-brother? You guys don't have any troops for me? says it's part of Ireland. That's okay. Um, let's see. We've got ships here, more than likely. Let's load up our folk on the ship and then sail around to here, just directly to. I'll probably land in Limerick or something like that first. Uh, make sure I want the army. Here we go. You guys can march around Brifney. You guys can march into Brifney. And this guy shouldn't have very many... He's got 800 guys right now. Let's head it up here. Wait, where is he headed? Oh, Hilmerick. Okay. We've got both our armies here. Let's go on in. Uh, the Irish conquest of Kanachta. Wait a second. Is he calling in allies? Is that what he's doing? Bringing in 900 men or something? Alright, let's just go straight for his army then, first. Because if we can defeat these three armies... Uh, it'll be an easy time trying to take him down. Gotta cut him off. Come on. Before he gets reinforcements. They're trying to siege over here. And 
He's a wily one. We've got double his men, though, so we should be okay. Uh, what are my... Let's just merge these guys. Um... Yeah, Bercy, you go on in. Why can't we get a commander over on this side, I wonder? I wonder aloud to myself. Alright, here we go. Got minor titles, grantable. Uh, let's see, we've got the regent, herdman, and a commander. Okay. That Falky didn't like me too much. He's a commander already. Toss, do you want to be a herdman? Maybe. Houston is a courtier. Toki is the seer. He doesn't like me very much. Let's give him 15 bucks so that he likes me a little better. Uh, Halston, you can be a herdman just because you don't like me very much. And then, uh, got tossed. You could be a commander, that's fine. We're doing pretty good here. There we go. We've got him on the run, so his armies are split. We should be able to fight these guys off pretty easy. He's running across the channel here. Oh, come on. We've got him on the run. Nice. So while they're both fleeing, we're going to go ahead and come over here and siege him down as fast as we can. Cool. We have a bunch of messages, it seems like. Queen Sigrid of Norriger has been released from a dungeon. Okay. I don't know why it tells me that. Monsterian Conquest of Oriel has ended. Jarl Porgil lost. No surprise. Uh, Tost has become commander. Our holding in Vasia Ford. Our holding in Hilmerich. Okay. Weaponsmith was built. Called Queen Isabel of Powys. In. Her opinion of me is pretty good. My opinion of her is not very high. This place here, huh? It looks like they're both imprisoned. Okay, well anyways. Chieftess Gornflaith. She's leading troops. Okay. I don't see where her... place is, but that's fine. Alright, we're going in for the siege. Get a weak claim. No thanks. It says a formal declaration of war. Our army shall meet on the field of battle. Who are you? Okay. Oh no. He's sieging Vasifjord. This is this guy. Oh no. He's got a lot of a lot of armies. Um, let's see here. We need to go into the military and see if we can hire some mercenaries. Uh, monthly cost of twenty four. Initial cost six hundred, that's a lot of money. We need that many men, though. We're gonna have to beat these guys really quickly. Or else we're not gonna be able to afford to keep them around. Oof. Okay, we've got our other 500 troops here. So they can... that's 2,500 guys. They've got 17, that's 3,500. Uh, 
And where are these guys going to turn up, too? That's the other question. They'll arrive in or nearby man. Okay. That works for me. Alright, Brody, I know you don't like me much. Who's in the other one? Bercy and Celine, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Bercy and Celine. So Brody is in there. Uh, Falky, you can join in here. And Tost. That's fine. Yeah. And let's let them gain their morale a little bit here. Fender's a man. Launched an unsuccessful raid. Taking heavy casualties. Siege of Vesia Fjord. We were defeated. That's down here. We gained victory over here. Yeah, so Vesia Fjord has been sieged. I don't know if they're going to stick around or if they're going to try to advance. Um, yeah, let's get both of these combined. We've got Bercy and Selene. Um... Yeah, we don't have any choice, really. I've got to get in there if uh, we want anybody in that side. We're only at 48% against this guy, uh, which is a huge shame. They only have half of their morale so far. Uh, but I think we need to get into this army before these guys come up here. Okay, they're a little bit more than half now. Intricate web weaver, okay. Actually, stop here. Go ahead and march in and attack these guys. Okay, we gained a victory there. Let's march in here. Valkia Man has usurped the chiefdom of Halogaland. From Reign of Osterbotten. Okay, that's fine. Unsuccessful raid. Gained another victory. Uh, the siege over here, I assume. Okay, so this war is done then. Send. Okay, we won. We won here as well. So all of this is good news. Base of Fjord is under siege, we know. Wait, is this... Yeah, Tuam. Okay. Uh... Conquest, Jarl Falke won. Our holding invasive fjord is under siege in Brifni. We we called that or broke that siege already. All right, so I need both of you guys uh, to march into here. I think because they are about to be victorious here. Maybe we meet in Brifni. Okay, we were defeated in Vesa Fjord. There's nothing we could do about that. I think the smaller mercenary size army is perfectly fine. Oh yeah, we're murdering them. Oh, beautiful. Yes. Alright. They're coming down to base of Fjord and through. Where are they headed to? Glamorgan. Alright. We're going to start sieging them down then. Snorri is no longer steward for King Olafur. Why? What's up, Snorri? Dyflin was under siege. Alana has been ransomed. That's good. Ugh. This always throws me off. Wrong type of holding. I don't understand what that means.
Yeah, let's grant him Twom then. He can handle that for sure. And then nobody else will be able to take it out from under him. Okay, we got minor titles grantable. This is probably less interesting than what's going on with the battle and stuff. Uh, Sigurder, I know you're a herdman, but come on. You can do this as well, I'm sure. Okay. One child lacks a guardian. Rickolfer, my son. Uh, who is this? 19 Intrigue? That's actually not too bad. I wouldn't mind a son who knows Intrigue, except if he uh, uses it to plot against his own brother. It's my bastard son? Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Open council positions. Yes, this is what I was thinking about. Um, Sewerchip. Bulky. It looks like you are in Gandalf's son. Oh, it's good to see you, Folky. Eskild looks like he's about to be dead. Um, can we settle tribe? Yeah, and Kanached. That's fine. Plot power increases 10%. I'm pretty sure I'm already doing that in there. Yeah, we've got 99.2. So, eventually, this is going to kick off. Uh, it'll take time, though. Okay, so we're sieging them down. We're doing good. One title can be created. Duchy of Kanacht. Okay. Uh, 163 gold we can afford. It gives me 200 prestige. That's fine. Okay. Uh, poor Stein Olafersen, my son, is... is uh, heir to the Jarldom. Can't I... I could probably gift it to him eventually, I'm sure, but let's see. Let's see. He's about to be of age, so we need to arrange him a good wife. Someone with high stewardship, probably. 16. He's got 10 stewardship. That's not bad. She's gluttonous, though. Gregarious. Okay, that's good. Arbitrary, not so good. Humble. Deceitful. Good for intrigue, which is only 3. Then Midas Touch gives her... Wow, stewardship plus nine. Earning plus two, increased fertility. Non-aggression pact with Godi Snorri of Twam, which is good. All right, sure. Now let's try that one. It would say yes, so that's fine. Uh, these ships, by the way, could be disbanded. Oh no! Oh no, did they... Did they die? I'm confused. Alright. Yeah, this place... I need to keep my armies pretty close together, I think. Oh, nominate for... Yeah. I'm gonna nominate my son. Yodi Snorri. Come on now. I gotta figure out these controls somehow one of these days. Huh. This is very confusing to me. Do I have to revoke his title first or something?
Man, I've got way too many sons, that's for sure. Alright, what is this? Is of my dynasty, so these are just kinsmen. These are my actual blood relatives, half brother, nephews. Gross, how come how come I can't nominate Snorri? Chiefs have barely any control over their vassals. Unreform vassal opinion is plus five. Unreform vassal opinion minus five. Okay. I don't know what that means. Centralization would be nice to increase, but... Okay, so we have to have low tribal organization to do that, okay? Government is not tribal, though. Wow. There's so much about this... Um, game that are so crazy... Confusing to me sometimes. Yeah, if I click on him, it just brings him up here. Um, it says that he's my heir. Should nominate successors for these titles. I want to nominate him, but it's not going to allow me to for some reason. So let me let me see if we revoke his title. Ouch. We don't have honorary titles, we don't have a whole bunch of other things, so he's going to be at minus 60. My other vassals will be minus 15. Holy cow. But we can't even. Can't revoke it before the 2nd of January. That's frustrating. I don't understand why I can't nominate him as my heir to take over my lands here. Uh, 23, yep, the 2362 guys, I think we're going to have to come up here. They're headed to Diflin. That should be enough to take them out. They're headed to Vase of Fjord. There we go. And we're still sieging over here. Oh no. My courtier, Gunhilder, died of poor health. Snorri of Tuam is now of legal age, a brilliant strategist. Okay. Jarl of Kanacht. We knew that already. We were attacked in Vesa Fjord, but we gained victory. Okay. Uh, and the enemy army... Nope. I want to see where the enemies are going. Uh, Dyfed. That's over here, right? So they're gonna march right into our other army. Which is kinda great. But also, I'm not sure what'll happen. Okay, so now he's... Now he's old. Uh, can I... Nominate him now? Huh. 
And see, I can't remember who's teaching him, but it's it's not going too well. And these are all too young to take over when I'm dead. So I'm kind of upset. Uh, if I don't kill off these guys... So poor Gil supports himself. Doki supports himself. He doesn't have any supporters. Okay, hang on. I think I understand now. This is just for... No, this is for the Kingdom of Ireland. Claimants. These random folk. Forgill, Falky, Frody, my... Those are all my brothers? Yeah. For Kingdom of Ireland. Line succession. Snorri. Oh, he says no? Why? He likes Porgil too much? You know he's gonna try to take over your lands when I die. Okay. Um, yeah, this is all very confusing. I don't understand why I can't... This is already my primary title. There's current claimants that don't... He's already my heir. Heir to the Kingdom of Ireland. So I don't know... why I can't elect him into there. That's frustrating. Okay, uh, let me know in the comments, please. Please let me know in the comments if you know the answer to that question. Oh, they're shattered retreating, so they can't... Uh, they can't be stopped. Okay, we gained victory. Good. We're now only at minus six. Are we being sieged here? What's going on with this? Raiders. My daughter. Learn from Toki here. Oh, really, you guys? You're gonna try this again? Where are you headed? To man? Uh... Let's try and siege down this one first. Because there should only be... Oh, there's three holdings here, sadly. Okay. So we can head around back here. With only 1,800 guys, I'm a little nervous. Because our armies are just about even. I don't know... I don't understand where they're getting so many more people to attack me with. It's kind of frustrating. It doesn't look like he owns very much. Oh, I see. Called Macbeth into the Holy War for Leinster? Why is it a Holy War, please? Anybody? What is this all about? Oh, he's trying to get moral authority? Duchy of Leinster? Where even is the Duchy of Leinster? 
Because I don't know. What is he after? Oh, this. Burns. Tribe. Oriole, Vasafjord, and this. Oh, I see now. I see. Okay, let's siege this first. A woman accused of witchcraft has been dragged before me in court. Several witnesses have seen her performing dark rituals in her secluded hut, possibly related to recent crop failures. She claims innocence, and it falls on me to determine her fate. Revolt risk is lowered. Frasia dies. Gain 30 piety. Imprisoned. Or we increase the revolt risk. Uh, taxes get cut. And we gain cultural technology points. And Kanacht. Local tax modifier is cut in half. Local revolt risk is increased by 10%. But we gain cultural technology points. What is, uh... What's cultural technology points give us? City vassal opinions. Feudal vassal opinions. Temple vassal opinions. Piety gain. Prestige gain. Different culture, different religion penalties. Unlocks low centralization. We can do that already. Oh, this unlocks medium centralization. Tolerances would be kind of nice. Um, if we just kill her and gain the piety, I don't see anything wrong with that. Subjects are feeling protected. Yeah, I think that's fine. Can be spent to petition the head of our church. Added to the score on the death of a ruler. The revolt risk is what I'm looking at the most. Tax modifier as well. But right now we're at minus 12 per month. This is rough. Let's try this. We're still paused here. I want to go into... Oh no, that's Laws. My council. Where's my marshal? Press revolts and canached. Just to make sure. Then in my military, we've still got unraised levies. 13 over here. Yeah, we're fighting a battle here. We've got these guys to deal with, plus whatever is in this unseen area, which could be thousands more. Who knows? Um, still no troops up here. And I thought there was another 500 sitting around somewhere. Did they join in here, maybe? Might have been it. Okay, let's see how we go. Uh, we gained a victory here. We're sending them away. They are retreating. Yeah, we've got 1,800 guys here now. Instead of 1,200. 68 just popped up at random over here. That's crazy. They can't do anything, though. And yeah, we don't have enough men to help out here. Let's just march in to this one. Oh, wow. 
That was a big force, but they came in straight off the boats, and so they had really low morale to begin with. That's really good for us. We've gained a victory there, then. Ouch, this is gonna hurt, though. Our character dies now, we'll play as Yargle... Yarl Porgil? Why? Why? I don't like that. Uh, we got another victory? Where was this at? Down here. Okay, the siege. Uh, let's pause, please. Yeah. Okay, there's guys running away. We've got 1,800 here. Yeah, these guys need to be, uh, merged. These guys are doing okay for right now. Uh, what do we see here? Just galleys? And he's just sitting. Okay. I need to talk to your king, folks. I'm gonna take him as a concubine. Never mind. Man, holy war for Leinster. I'm still not even really sure how this happened. Uh, these guys, there's only two. We need one more siege down. We need one more siege down over here as well. There's an army coming down here. Where are they headed to? Let's take them out. Okay. Okay another good victory. My son, Aki. Aki. Let Brody handle him. Oh, he's a lunatic, though. Has great pox. Maybe not. Uh, Mercy, then. What's this? Greedy? That's not too bad. Four hundred and ninety-six, that shouldn't be enough to do anything. Good job, Eskild. I appreciate your efforts there. Nice, nice. This low morale attacks that he keeps trying to do on me are beautiful. I'm really pleased that that happens. And we are sieging him down pretty good in his own homelands here. We get reinforced pretty well. Uh-oh. We're going to have to go after him here pretty soon, though. 1,200 guys. Where's he headed for? Is he? Yeah, he's camping here. We're going to have to attack him across the water, which is not ideal. He's a little bit low on morale right now. Okay, we're doing all right. Come on, keep at it, boys. That was in the siege. Okay. We should have them though. No, no, no. What's going on here? Oh, did they reinforce enough? Are you kidding me? Okay, yeah, this place is fully sieged down. Let's sit up here and take care of this. Because their morale is abysmal right now. Where are you guys headed, though? Why over here? I guess trading places isn't bad. Yeah, they're successfully sieging over here. That needs to be done. Okay, raiders have arrived to loot and pillage in Nordland. 195 guys, they can't raid me. They don't have the folks to do it. Um, so that's fine. King Aiden the second. 
It's called Macbeth. We already knew about that. Why is that still there? We were attacked in men. Stranglefjord. Man. Okay. He disbanded his faction against us. So that's good. Jarl Falky for Ireland is still going. I guess I could call my allies to war with me. It's not a huge army, but it's something. We can reinforce up here. Man, how does that happen so easy? Never mind. How do we keep getting defeated up here? I don't understand. Okay. That's it then. Stranglefjord was defeated. I don't I don't get what's going on here. It doesn't make any sense to me. Yep. They attacked me here. He's still trying to get at me. Go back after him here. Got armies that are slower than others for whatever reason. Victory. Okay, so I want uh just these guys. Come over here and smash these fools. All of you can merge. Oh. Naive appeaser. That's fine. Mastermind theologian. That's good. Uh, Strangfjord is under siege. Brifney. We were attacked in Dyflin Brifney. Okay. Right, we do this. We knock these guys out. Okay, head over here to Vesa Fjord and get it liberated. Are they coming back with more guys? Because it looks like they are. Just two holdings here. Okay. It looks like they're trying to go around. Yeah, they're going to Brifney. They're combining forces here. Never mind. Running around like mad fools. Okay, we're breaking this back. Bringing it back to our possession here. Oh no. Message offer about peace. Surrender under these terms. Pays 8 bucks. Lose 75 piety. 150 prestige. We gain 200 piety for more contribution. We gain 100 prestige for more contribution. He loses 3 moral authority and we gain 3. We could accept. We could. I feel like we've got him on the run, though. Him and Macbeth. So I feel like if we keep going... We might get some better terms. Paying me eight bucks isn't really uh, very impressive. Let's 
still same same deal. Six hundred and two men trying to siege down my holdings here isn't gonna work. He knows that now though, he's moving out. Okay. Let's see, where are they going? Helmerick. Let's hail Marek these guys. If we can. Come on, get there before he leaves. Ah, cowards. Okay, we got his big army here. Got this back now. Okay, let's go on down here. These guys aren't doing anything, so let's march up here. Take on Macbeth. Show him what he gets for helping my enemies. Nope, wrong place. This is where we wanted to go. Uh, pillage in Nordland. It's probably not anybody. Okay. Erringer Mab Jord was captured. Perfect. Okay, now we're at 100%. We can offer peace. He still only pays 8 bucks. And all that. We should have totally conquered him, but there we go. We won the Holy War. So that's what's important. Let's get our men back. Uh, to our own lands. We showed Macbeth what's up, too. After Falky failed to do so. Poor Gil. You're a fool. Okay. Holy cow. Uh, militaries. Yes. Everybody is back where they're supposed to be. We are at peace, finally. Gudmunder, the courtier, you're fine to be a person. Serves as a steward of the realm. Considered to be very prestigious. Right, girly. And looks like we can do with another commander. Snorri. Yep. Go right ahead, buddy. Um okay, so that's done. Yeah, that's probably good. As killed, you could take care of him. We really need to get rid of poor Gilt as soon as possible. Okay, Constance. 
It says no. Oh. Did I ever fire my... Where are they? Where are the mercenaries? Okay. Why am I losing money? Wow. Why am I losing money? They've all been dismissed. Yarl, why do you hate me so bad? And we can't even give him any, uh... Can't give him a gift or anything. Alright, what prisoners do we have? Can we sell any prisoners? Yes, we can. This one right here. For 10 gold. We need all of the money we can get. Nobody else wants to... Wants to buy their... Folks, though. 54% Falky for Ireland faction. Uh, who's the council member that negates faction stuff? Is it the spy master? Discard from joining factions, yeah. Plot discovery chance plus 20%. That's not really what I want, though. Plot power increase is what I wanted. And she's here, uh, in Hilmerick, which is where Orgil lives. This is exactly where we need her to be and what we need her to be doing right now. Shame. Man, lots of stuff to do. Um, I still don't understand why I can't nominate my son to be my heir once again. I don't know why poor Gilt is my heir now. It really frustrates me. I don't want it to be that way. His heir is me, and so we definitely need to get him uh, killed as soon as possible. I just don't understand uh, why it's taken so long when we have such a good good plot power here. I guess it's best if it's over 100. Did we already... I don't think we want to invite her to court because I think that's going to uh, decrease her plot power So why can't we give her a gift, though? Base reluctance is three. Can we give her anything else? What's her... She's French. Oh. That's her liege. Doesn't have a husband. My half brother.
My nephew? Yeah, marry my nephew, right? That'd be fun. Try that. All right. Except paying the ransom. Good. Perfect. Um, but now she can't... Now is she not even in this deal anymore? Let's see. Because it's not working to click on her. Yeah, she's not in his court anymore, and so uh, she doesn't have any ability to help us plot. We can send these people gifts, but they still... They like Porgil more than they like me. That's the problem. Man. It would have been nice to get that plus 11. I don't know why I couldn't just send her a gift. Probably because I was broke. Okay, my money's going back up, though. I don't know what I did, but... I'm pretty sure it's not something that I did, though. Okay, I don't think we're going to do any of those. Well, that's going to be it for this episode, so if you want to catch the next one, be sure to subscribe. Consider supporting my channel through the Patreon link down in the video description. And feel free to check out any of my other videos or playlists that you might be interested in. I thank you so much for all the time you spend on my channel, and I hope blessings of wisdom and peace on all of you. Farewell.